So uh, if you look at the screen now, you should be able to see a question answer sheet. And uh, this starts from number one and goes all the way to 27, 28 questions. So there are two ways in which a person can learn or understand technology. One is that the person does it by understanding the software. What I mean by that is the person tries to understand which button does what. After I click this button, what happens? After I click that button, what happens? That's one way of learning the software. And the second way of learning software is to understand what the button is used for. That means I have a task to complete and to complete that task, which buttons am I supposed to use? So that's the practical approach of learning. That's the method which we follow, whereby we have assigned different questions and each question that I have assigned or each question that we have been given by Microsoft, each of them has got a concept. So when I'm going to teach you, I'm going to teach you the concept of using Microsoft Word. I won't teach you Word because you all are not come here to understand how to design a software. You have come to understand how to use the software to achieve multiple tasks that you have in hand. So when I'm looking at the screen and when I'm starting with question number one, it very clearly states over here, find and replace. So the first thing that we are looking at is understanding how to find and replace a word. Now, obviously, some of you must have worked in word before because we are a little aware also about find and replace. But I'm showing you a different method by which find and replace is done. What are the aspects that we need to cover up? So let's open question number one. It says brochure one. So I'm opening brochure one. And uh, just a minute, I'll share the screen with you. So you should be able to see the brochure one screen. Now, all these files are going to be given to you uh, for you all to practice. So whatever you will be learning and understanding in this program, all of that is going to be recorded, given to you as a recording. And we'll also share these files with you so that you can practice the same questions at home before we have the next session. So you're kind of understanding every concept very clearly and uh, you won't be very lost during the course. So let's look at question number one. I've shared with you the screen. I'm going back to the question first. It says we place the instances of the phrase swimming with the phrase swimming. I will tell me what is this sir? Replace swimming with swimming. If you notice, the word swimming here is in small letters and the word swimming here is in capital letters. So find does not mean that you find the word and replace it with another word. That's normal find. So by if word find kiya, also replace kiya dusre word ke saath. Here, find also allows us to change small letters into capital letters. That means when I am finding a word in word, I will find that word and I say, okay, that word is, let's say, appearing 100 times in my document. Now, imagine if this word swimming has to come even 100 or even 20 times in this particular file. I've opened the file. Here's a file, it's got five pages. Let's say if the word swimming was 20 times. Now imagine going like this, scrolling, 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 and trying to find the word swimming 
and then replacing it small letters ko capital karna it's a lot of effort instead we go to find over here a window opens up telling me find what do you want to find now my question says replace all the instances so i will not go to find i will go to replace you will realize the window is different the replace window brings up two aspects one call the find what and then replace with so in the find what box i'm going to put swimming and the replace with i'm going to type swimming in capital letter if i hit the replace all button it says we have made 11 replacement i say okay all my small letters now have turned to capital how did this happen was it just because i pressed on replace all or there is something more to it so there is something more there is a button called more let's click it under more i've got various options saying match case saying use wild card format now this gets even more interesting so let's look at one more thing okay so now we succeed successfully converted our small letters to capital let's see where is swimming yeah all the swimming are capital look all of them now i want <clears throat> i want the third word that means the third occurrence of the word swimming to be bold that's my next question one b says you find the word swimming and make the third occurrence as bold right now again this is a very interesting aspect in word so i'm going back to the document and i say okay i need to find so i click on find and what do i need to find i need to find swimming so if i type swimming in small letter did he find or no sorry you found no right so when i go to my find window even though i type swimming as capital or i type it as small the find function is working this is another important aspect you should understand in spite of me making everything in capital even when i wrote it in small letters the capital still came all right now first second third he tells me there are 11 swimmings the word swimming 11 times in this document i go to the third one so i'll click on the third one it will automatically highlight the third one and i will just make it bold see how simple this was and i close my navigation this is the way you can work with any word in your document by using the find function and you can apply bold italic underline anything you want to by using the navigation pane of the find function so i told you when i went to replace i got this more button over here so what is this more button what are all these things what is this what are we trying to achieve here right so i want to find the word swimming i want to replace it with swimming but i also want the word swimming to be blue in color and to be underlined all up huh? all of them so i'll go to something known as format and i'll go to something known as font when i go to format and font i'll say i want to change the word swimming to blue in color 
and I want it to be uh, bold and uh, I also want it to be underlined and I want it to have a different underline. Let's say double underline. So this is how it's going to look. I say, okay. Now you tell me what happened. When I went to format, all the format got applied over here. Why do you think it got applied over here and not here? Can anybody guess? Swimming with swimming. Correct? What I did earlier. What happened? When to find and replace, even though I wanted the word swimming, which I can type in capital now because it is all capital, to be replaced with swimming, which is bold, underlined, and blue, because my cursor was here, my answer would have been wrong. Correct? No? So by just going into find what and typing a word, does not solve it. You have to decide where your cursor is. If your cursor is in the replace with box, go there and then apply the format. And now say replace all. Now watch. 11 places have got the same format. So find is not just finding a word and replacing it. Find is what I'm showing you today. This is why find is used. It's used to change the format of a word which is reoccurring, even if it occurs thousand times, it will still get changed. Or it appears even five times, it will still have the same effect. So find is used for this format emotion. This format option, I got it from more. That's why I asked you now, what is this more? See, when I click on more, I get this format option. Now I'm going to question number 20. So, question number 20 tells us, one minute, yeah, tells us, turn the paragraph marks on this document, then set the program to always display spaces, paragraph marks, and hidden text. Leave any other formatting marks in place. So basically what happens is when I have opened a document right now, if I want to see my paragraph marks and everything, generally what we do, we go over here and switch on the paragraph mark like this. So it shows me all the paragraphs, the spaces, you know, the section break, column break, everything it will show me as soon as I switch on this from here. Sometimes what happens that people who, who are into reviewing or want to proof reading, what they do is they do a setting in the computer whereby they don't need to go to this P at all. Whenever they open a file, it will automatically show all the paragraph marks, the spaces, the section break, everything. To achieve that, we go to file and under file, we have got the options call option under this I've got proofing under proofing I've got various options over here correct now similarly like we have got a proofing options okay we have got something also known as the display option display option is something which person uses to display all these items I want, suppose I want to show the spaces. I want to show the paragraph mark. I want to show if there's any hidden text, if at all. I activate these three things. And if I say, okay, all the P's have appeared. The spaces have appeared. Everything has appeared. Whether I switch on or switch off the P, they don't go away. See, they are permanently there. This P becomes irrelevant. So off karo ya on karo. Ye paragraph mark kai nahi Because it has been done in the settings. So sup suppose sometimes something like this happens. So you know where to go in case to switch it off. So now we can go to question number 21. 
Correct. Question number twenty-one is telling us to add a watermark to the background of this document using the draft one option. Change the color of our background and also put a border to the document. Yeah. See, these are very basic things which every document more or less has. Watermark is important. By our copyright, hai. किसी और को नहीं मिलना चाहिए या जो डॉक्यूमेंट आई एम सेंडिंग यू इज अ ड्राफ्ट फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई एम मेकिंग एन अग्रीमेंट एंड आई वांट दैट अग्रीमेंट टू हैव अ वाटरमार्क ड्राफ्ट करके सो दैट नोबडी कैन मेक इट अ फाइनल अग्रीमेंट एंड गिव मी सो आई विल वांट अ परमानेंट वाटरमार्क ऑन एवरी पेज सो टू ऐड द वाटरमार्क आई विल बस लेट मी ओपन द डॉक्यूमेंट एंड शो यू व्हाट आई मीन बाय दैट सो आई विल हैव टू Do three things in this case. I have to add a watermark, give a background color to the page, and also give a border. So I'm just going to zoom out a little so that you can see the full page. So this draft, what I have written here, which I go to custom watermark. I went here, and I go to custom watermark. Here now I can put my own text here. This text watermark is option B. This text watermark is in this particular language, in this particular font size. I can choose a size and color भी है. You want a watermark to be little more visible? आप blue में बना दो. Okay करो. अब देखो watermark दिखने लगे. ASAP करके आ गया. Now how ASAP came? Because over here I typed ASAP. Here I can type uh, copyright. Correct. Suppose I can say ABC Limited copyright. And I change the color to blue. So, अब मेरा आ जाएगा देखो. ABC Limited copyright. I can put a draft or any options as a watermark at the back. See, I'm zooming out. देखो ऐसा perfect ये देखो. ऐसा perfect हर एक पेज में आएगा. तो आपका copyright हो गया है document. This is how they copyrighted document by putting watermarks like this. Now, the next question he told me was page color. I go to page color and I say, okay, I want a white five five percent. Here it is five percent. So gray, light gray. Get here again. The page has got a color. And then third, he does me to apply page border. There are different types of page borders that you can apply. There's a box. There's a shadow. There's a three D custom. I go to box. Simple box. Change it. So patla outline hai. I can change the thickness also, depending on how how thick I want it. So I keep it normal. You bola hua hai one point, and I'll just say okay. And here you see a border has come for all my pages. So I got border, I got a watermark, I got a page color. All three things under design. 